Hello and welcome. This is Mrs. Redneck and in today's video we are going to use the KISS or Keep It Simple Sweetheart method of grilling fresh caught striped bass. Today I'm going to grill this lovely filet which is one of two from about a 10 pound striped bass. The only thing that matters now is everything you think of me. find my worth in you, I find my identity. This was fresh caught and so I did trim off some of the red muscle layer but not all of it because this is going to taste great as it is. I don't have a fish basket. You can't lay this directly on the grill because fish is flaky and as it cooks you know it's going to tend to start to come apart and fall through the grill which we don't want that. But in lieu of a fish basket, partly because I don't want to clean it, I use uh, some, it's called heavy aluminum foil, it doesn't seem that heavy. I've poked some holes here with a fillet knife and the reason I do that is so that the juices can drain out because I am not trying to steam the fish on the grill, I am trying to have it have the grill experience and uh, texture. So for that I'm going to take a little bit of olive oil and spread it with my fingers on this aluminum foil, not enough where it's dripping out the holes or anything like that. I'm just going to drizzle a little bit around and then rub it with my fingers and this is to keep the fish from sticking and it also adds a nice flavor. When we do that we'll just lay the fillet right on there on top of the holes because like I said we want the extra juices to be draining out while it grills. And what I have here, the keep it simple sweetheart, we like Cajun flavors. This fish reminds me a lot of slot redfish that you might catch uh, on the coast. And so I'm going to use some Creole seasoning. We keep Tony's in the house, but you might have your own uh, brand that you prefer. I'm actually going to go ahead and do both sides of that with the Tony's. And that's not all. Lemon is good, so I'm also going to sprinkle it with some lemon pepper. This happens to be Tone's brand, which I've put in a little shaker jar here. Again, both sides. Now both the Tone's and the Tony's Creole seasoning have pepper and salt in them, and so I'm not adding those. If you wanted to use something that wasn't so Cajun flavored, like a Herbs de Provence or something like that, then you may want to add, <coughs> excuse me, your own salt and pepper. Tony's always makes me sneeze about 30 seconds after I use it. You can set your watch by it. Okay, I'm almost ready to put the fish on the grill, which I preheated for about five minutes. It's a mild day here, and this is a gas grill, so you can be the judge for your own grill. I'm not going to put this whole pan on, rather I'm going to slide the foil right off the pan and keep the pan to support the fish when it's done cooking. Now the only bad thing you can do really with the fish is to overcook it or burn it. So I'm going to close the lid so that the smoke flavors and the barbecue flavors can get in there, but I'll be checking on it from time to time and I'll let you know how long this large filet takes to cook and you might need to adjust accordingly. Now you know I like to give you something for your heart and for your home in these videos. So for your heart, ladies, if you are not married, I would encourage, and you want to be married, I would encourage you to pray for a spouse who prays for his daily bread, as the Lord's Prayer says. And that includes being thankful for a job or praying for one when you need one, etc. If you're already married and this isn't something you do together, maybe you could ask your spouse at mealtime or, or some other time to pray together and acknowledge God's hand in providing the food that you need, the job that you have, the roof over your head, or if you need those things, that that's the source. It certainly doesn't take away from uh, someone's manhood or womanhood to acknowledge that the God of the universe who created us is a loving and good God and provides us with these good things. Let's check in on our fish. It's been about eight minutes. I, it's probably not done. Yeah, not quite, but that's nice. Ooh, look at that sizzle. But the top part you might be able to see is still a bit translucent, like it's, it's a little bit see-through. I think that's hard to see on the video here. Let's see if I can give you a look. Um, it's easier to see in person that it's not done. It's still a little translucent and pink, but it won't be long. So I will shut the lid and we'll check back again in a minute or two. 
Okay, let's check on our fish. It's been about 14 minutes and that looks ready. We're going to slide it right off onto our tray. I did check it a couple of times in between and that lets some heat out so that might extend the time some and if your fillets are smaller it won't take as long. I'll serve this with some fresh lemon wedges and other than that when you have a piece of fish this nice the keep it simple sweetheart method is the way to go. There is a redeemer, Jesus God's own son, precious lamb of God, Messiah, holy one. Jesus, my redeemer, name above all names, precious Lamb of God, Messiah, oh, for sinners slain. Thank you, oh, my Father, for giving us your Son and leaving your Spirit till the work on earth is done.